Hey guys, Marilyn here. <laughs> so it's been a minute, I know. However, I've been super busy with my job. By the time I get home, I am just too exhausted. I just wanna lay down and most of the time I do just knock out. So, but I'm here today, finally, um, to do another tutorial and answer some questions about glass etching. So some of the questions that I've received about glass etching is, can you etch on colored glass? So I am almost 110% sure that yes, you can etch with colored glass. So I picked up this glass at Dollar Tree. It's blue, as you can see, very bright blue. It's kind of like a cobalt blue. Um, but as you can see, if you look at the glass completely, it is blue and you can see that all the way through the rim, through the side, the, the inside of the wall and everything, the entire glass is blue. Now, the reason why I'm showing you that is because I have had colored glasses where after washing them after some time, the color seems to chip away. I don't believe that this is one of those cases because you can kind of see that it's actually part of the glass. Um, color and if you know what I mean and I'll show you what I mean so then I found this one inside my my container of wine glasses and I was like oh maybe we can try this one however when I take the cap off I noticed that part of the bottle is actually clear now you are getting a little bit of reflection from the pink into the ridges on the top of the glass here so it looks like it's pink but it's actually clear if I hold it this way and I'm looking out the window, um, I have shears in here, so it's quite bright in my craft room. This is actually clear on the top. But then when I flip, flip it over on the bottom, you can also see that the pink does not go all the way through the glass. It's also clear on the bottom. Now, um, so this might be one of those cases that you know, if you etch, I mean, if you wash it over time, the color may chip off and I'm not quite, it more than likely from the outside. There was a glass that I had before that it was actually chipping from the inside of the glass. And I was like, well, that's not good. Um, you don't definitely want to drink any of the paint that's on the, the glass. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do the blue glass because I know for a fact that this is all the way through. Um, you know what? As a matter of fact, I wasn't going to do this one, but we're going to do it anyway. I've had this thing inside my container with all the other wine glasses. We'll go ahead and try both of them regardless. And then if, over time, if I continue to use this glass and I wash it, I'll let you know eventually if this paint has chipped off. This one for a fact I know is part of the... The glass process um, so another question that I've had um, was can you etch in color now in my brain the way my brain works I'm going to guess no however I did pick up some red food coloring so we're gonna try it so I'm gonna take a little bit of etching solution I'm gonna mix it up in a little cup and then I'll put some drops of food coloring in the etching solution. So when we lay it on the clear glass, we'll lay it on the clear glass and we'll see what the outcome looks like. I'm almost positive that this is not going to work. Now, I also have um, alcohol ink. So since I have red food coloring, we're gonna go ahead and try blue alcohol ink on the clear glass. Now, if I had to guess if any of these ones actually work, I'm going to guess that the alcohol ink is going to take color in the etching process versus the food coloring. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So I have my artwork ready. Um, so I figured this is how it's going to go down. <laughs> so the cups is going to be the red food coloring. Okay. Okay. Fly the W is going to be blue. This will be for the pink cup or for the pink glass. And this will be for the blue glass. Okay. It was either that or the uh, Roly crown. So I'm debating which one I want to put on the blue glass. It's not a large glass, so it'll be one of these two. But I figured the cubs will be red. Fly the W will be blue. 
and my logo will go inside the um, the pink glass and this one of these two images will be for the blue so I'm gonna go ahead and create the boxes for the background so you always have to create um, these as decals right so we're gonna go ahead and unlock this and let me check the size of that so that's about two inches uh, we're gonna make a box out of this we're gonna put it over the logo send to back because you always what you're going to weed out is going to be the center of the design so you're actually going to weed out the cubs you're going to weed out the logo you're going to weed out mickey mouse and you're going to weed out um, the roly crown so let's go ahead and so now what i'm going to do so this is a nice size i'm going to go ahead and select both of those and i'm going to hit attach so now my fly the w uh, decal is created now i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for all the others uh, we're gonna do that a little smaller there so we'll just create we'll insert a box put that behind the cups send it to the back kind of center that there and then we're gonna select both and we're gonna hit attach we're gonna do the same thing with this one and right click send to back so we're essentially creating uh, the stencil is what it e eventually is so we're creating stencils at this point got that one together and I thought the Mickey Mouse would be super cute because the glass is a little long um, that would be cute or I could do yeah let's go with Mickey Mouse um, so we're gonna hide this one for another project and I still have to do the gift part so this one is um, about 2.6 inches that's going to be a little too large for this one i have one of my favorite rulers um, for when i do glass etching it is a plastic flexible ruler i know people could say well you can use measuring tape but you know i like the plastic ruler better so i'm gonna have to make my mickey mouse about two inches all right so let's go ahead and resize him um the height on that 2.0 but before i hit enter i'm gonna unlock that well no i actually want it locked because i don't want to um distort him so this might uh let's see so we're gonna insert the background um, we're gonna unlock it and we're just gonna make it a little skinnier put it there send it back pretty good size there that's a good estimate and usually when I get ready to apply the decal to the glass, uh, what I'll do is if I have to snip some of this off um, before I apply it, I will. You just have to make sure that you put enough masking tape on the glass so nothing seeps through. Um, so Mickey Mouse is good. We're going to go ahead and hit attach. So now we have our Mickey Mouse decal. Let me see the size of this. This one is going on to the pink glass. So this one has a little bit of wider space and kind of a flat space. So let me just make sure um, that one says three inches. It's going to be way too big. After you've created the background, you can still resize it here. Not a big deal. Um, if I were to detach it, I can essentially see how big the logo is going to be. So it's a little less than two inches. Um, that's fine with me so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back and this will be my decal okay so we're gonna attach that back and then as far as the Cubs go this is going to be um, hmm, maybe I'll put it on I'll put it on the wine glass so we're gonna do the Cubs in red and then we're going to do the W in blue so red food coloring for the Cubs and blue alcohol ink for the W. So now let's go ahead and detach this one. I should have checked my sizes first. So that's close to one and three quarters, not quite. Um, if I put it up higher, um, I don't want to get into the curved space of the glass because um, that'll create issues with trying to apply the decal. 
So I'm good with this size. So we're going to go ahead and attach that back. And then the Fly the W, we're going to have to probably have that one almost about the same size. But the reason why I went with the Cubs and the W, because number one, I'm a fan. But number two, you have solid pieces. The W is quite solid. So if the blue um, alcohol ink is going to take, we'll at least see it on a thick uh, font. Same thing with the Cubs. Um, but we'll see if this is all going to work. Let's detach this. I want to see how big this is. Um, this is about one. It's a little smaller than one and a half. So I just want to make this one smidge bigger. I'm going to attach it and right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out on my Cricut Maker. And then once I start to apply um, these decals to the glass, First of all, make sure you wipe all your glasses down with rubbing alcohol, get any dust and dirt off of the glass, and then I'll meet you at the other table. Alright guys, so initially I started to cut this for the decals, however, um, I realized that the metallic is a little hard to work with. So I went in my stash and I found this uh, permanent glossy. It doesn't have to be glossy or matte. You're just going to use it as a stencil anyway. Um, but I'd rather use um, this type of vinyl um, because it's a little more flexible than the metallic. So you'll just want to use um, the uh, non-permanent or permanent. It doesn't matter. It's just the, the more flexible vinyl. And didn't know I had this color. It looks like skin color. Um, but what is this one called? Let's take a look. Parchment, I guess. But it's good to know to have in case I want to do a face or something. And it looks kind of like a skin color. All right, so I've laid down my, my vinyl here. So I'm going to go ahead and send my decals to cut. And I've put boxes around all of the items. And then... Um, Oops, I should probably turn on my machine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out, and then we'll move forward. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and clean off all the glasses that we're going to etch. Um, you want to make sure that your glass is clean. Wait for the alcohol to dissipate. Uh... Make sure there's no fingerprints or particles on the glass, all that good stuff. So we're just going to clean them off. Okay. All right. And so I've cut out all my de decals. Um, the only thing is, is that I had to... Um, so there's that one. That's going to go here. Uh, Fly the W is going to go on this glass. This will be the blue alcohol ink. The Cubs will be on the other side with red food coloring. Um, so we'll see if this even works. Um, except when I cut the Cubs logo out, the two little dots that go inside the B actually fell out, so I just cut some little squares out of the vinyl that I weeded out, so it worked out. And then here's our solid Mickey for the blue glass. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare these um, to put them on the glass. I'm going to tape them down, and then we'll start. Um, I'll come back when I start mixing the colors with the etching solution. All right, guys, so I've applied um, my stencils to all the cups. I did warm them up, and then after they cooled off, I did burnish them all. I'm realizing I didn't burnish this one, um, but I burnished them all this way after they've cooled off a little bit, but I do like to um, warm them up um, because it kind of activates the adhesive a little bit in the background just so it sticks nicely. Um, so my Mickey Mouse almost messed up his, his tail, um, but he's good to go. All this stuff here on the side does not matter because we're going to tape this off. Um, one thing I do want to point out is, you know, I cut these out this 
all wonky and everything so I didn't have too much vinyl that needed to be curved because if you have too much vinyl that needs to be curved over you're going to get all this buckling and then you might have creases like this and the inside of your decal and you don't want that otherwise you're going to have solution seep in from underneath. This all here on the outside doesn't matter to me because I'm going to go ahead and tape all this off. Now the one thing that I accidentally, well I intentionally did um, I can't tell if my fly the W is crooked or not, but we'll see what it looks like <laughs> once it's finished um, or if it's just the way I cut it. Um, I did put in a little scissor slit here so that it could lay nicely over the curve of the glass. So you want to make sure that once we take off um, this transfer tape that you cover that with... Uh, masking tape so any little slits that you make this is just part of the um, vinyl folding over I don't care about that I'll just make it tape it off um, just as long as it doesn't run into the part that I want to um, etch um, just as long as it's not open there so nothing will seep through there but I'm gonna tape this off I'm gonna definitely tape off the little slit I made in the vinyl so I could lay it flat so then no etching solution goes underneath. I do have slight little tiny bubbles. If you can try to push out your bubbles underneath the vinyl, uh, do that so then you don't have any seepage and then it doesn't mess up your um, etching. So let's go ahead. I still have to remove that. I did warm them all up and I did burnish them all. Um, so these are going to be good to go after I tape them off. But what I'm going to do first is we're going to go ahead, take the etching solution and we're going to make, mix some, um, food coloring and, uh, alcohol ink to the etching solution. But first I'm going to put on my gloves. Um, I know someone commented previously on my channel that you should wear gloves because this burns. I've never really touched etching solution. Um, I do put gloves on when I'm doing resin art. Um, that for sure gets really sticky and weird when it uh, warms up. So I'm going to go ahead for the viewers. I mean, you always want to uh, be safe first. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> I don't know why this glove is taking so much uh, just to put on. This one went on smoothly. I don't know what's going on with this one. Let me do this off camera so I am not <laughs> wasting time trying to put this glove on. All right. I think I have it. It's, it's as good as it's going to get. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the etching solution. I took my garbage can downstairs so I could empty it out. So I'm just going to open it inside this little garbage bag that I made. Because sometimes when the etching solution dries, you get a lot of particles falling off the lid. And I don't want to get that everywhere. Okay. All right. And I have not used this solution in quite a while. I do have my popsicle sticks handy. So this glass we're going to do clear etching solution on. We're going to do no color with these two, but we're definitely going to put the color with this clear glass. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I don't need a whole lot of etching solution um, for the red or the blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour a little bit into this paper cup. Okay. And then it does have some crystals in it, so you guys want to make sure um, that you remove the crystals. I don't want to put a lot in here because I'm only etching the Cubs logo here. So we'll put the food coloring in here. Oh, there's got to be some sort of tape. Oh, I knew it. Okay. So let's go ahead and remove that. Oh, this is really bright red. Okay. So we're just going to put a few drops in here. I don't know how many I dropped. That was like four or five. And then we're just going to go ahead and mix it. 
That would be pretty cool if it does etch uh, color into the glass this way, right? Um, I've never tried it, but since people have asked about it, we're going to try it here. So there's the red. And let's go ahead. I don't need to put any in this cup for the clear. But let's go ahead and do this for the alcohol ink. Okay. So this etching solution I will not be able to put back inside my container. So we're going to put this color in Baja Blue. All right. Two, three, four, five. We'll do five drops. So this is interesting. Oh, that's a pretty blue. All right. So actually, I'm going to put more blue on here. I'm going to put more blue in here because it's not that bright, not as bright as the red. So that's like a total of 10 drops so far. Okay, so it looks like it's actually a pale blue. Um, so I'm not quite sure. We're experimenting here. I've never done this before, so we're going to find out how many drops. So here's another one, two, three, four, five. So that's 15 drops <laughs> of alcohol ink. I want it to be like super blue, but it's not happening. So this is what the blue's looking like. All right, and then we have the red. The red is super bright. All right, so what I'm going to do, and I should have done this before I did that, I'm going to tape off all the logos or the decals, and then I shall return. So as you can see, all the little particles from the lid fell off. This is exactly what I was talking about. You don't want this to get all over the place. Um, so I shall return. All right, guys, so I have... Um, taped off all my decals onto the glasses that I want to etch. Looks a little dramatic, but I don't want to get etching solution anywhere else. Um, make sure if you see any little bubbles, um, you take your scraper and kind of push the bubbles out. I was able to push a bubble out of um, the side of Mickey. Um, there was a little bubble right on the edge and I pushed out the bubble so there's no chance of etching solution uh, getting inside of there. Um, let's see here. So yeah, it looks a little dramatic but that's okay because I want my etching solution to only go through the decal um, I, and I taped down the transfer tape onto this one. So that's not gonna work. I'll definitely do this off of camera. I knew there was something going on with this one. So we'll go ahead and do this one after I apply the red and the blue. So I cut the transfer tape so close to the decal that I didn't even notice that I left it on. Well, you can't etch unless you have this off, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'll do that one shortly. Uh, off camera it's not like we're putting color on this one anyway this is going to be clear um not clear but regular white solution on both of those i have the mickey ready so we're going to go ahead i'm going to put the etching solution with the food coloring first and i'll lay this glass down so that it can um process and I realize since I'm doing it on both sides, I'm going to have to do one side first. Um, but I'm not going to reveal this one until this one has been applied and dried. We'll reveal this one together. So let me go ahead and start applying the red solution. Yes, I took one of my gloves off because I couldn't put the etching or the tape on with gloves. Now, as usual, there's crystals that are in here. So make sure that you remove the crystals because you don't want to have any of those ghost spots. Okay. So this would be so interesting if it works, but I doubt that the food coloring is going to work. Um, 
I feel like perhaps the, um, we'll put that down, that the alcohol ink will work better because you can actually put alcohol ink on glass. So, but I've never done it with etching solution. Um, we see some crystals there. You want to remove your crystals. And there's another crystal there. Okay. And I can hear the crystal scraping against my popsicle stick here. So um, we'll have to take a look at that a little closer. Let me go ahead and zoom in. And I know I get a lot of people also saying, stay in frame. You're never in frame. You know, you get the people that, you know, making videos is not that easy, guys. It is a little challenging. It is time consuming. All that good stuff. So, but for the most part, I get a lot of nice people, nice comments. I don't get a lot of hate and mean comments so that's a good thing all right so there's that one the only reason why I don't want to do the blue yet is because I want to lay this glass down um, so that it can go ahead and etch and I don't want my solution to flow to the sides of the glass and ruin my etching project so we're just gonna put this aside for now all right and then we're just gonna do the Mickey Mouse with regular uh, white etching solution. Let me grab another popsicle stick. Uh, let me open this up over my, my garbage. All right. Okay, and here goes Mickey. And my etching solution actually looks a little gray. And I don't know if it's because it's been sitting for quite a while and I haven't used it or why, but it still probably still works. All right, so this I'm going to need to get my little towels that I use for my craft room to. And again, make sure you remove all the little crystals. So you don't have those little ghost spots all over your etching. So, and you can also apply your etching solution with um, those foam brushes. I believe I've used the foam brushes in my last videos. Um, there's crystals. Remove all the crystallized um, pieces. There's a couple there. So you guys know the process. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to put etching solution on these. And then once the red one has um, dried, I'm going to leave that on there. I'm going to go ahead and apply the blue to the fly the W side. And then we'll come back and, and take a reveal. Guys, so the solution has been sitting for about 20 minutes or so. Um, as you can see, here's the food coloring. Let's take a peek in the back. Wouldn't that be so cool if it stayed like that on the glass? That would be, uh, that would be pretty cool. All right. So then here's the other one. So the solution, I did pile it on. I like to let it sit there for a while, um, just caked on. Um, but at this point, being that they have been sitting here for a while, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, foam brushes to kind of brush that solution around just a little bit. And then um, we'll let it sit for a few more minutes and then we'll go ahead and wash them off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just move around the solution um, through the cup here. I did go back to check to see if I had any crystals. Um, see, there's one hiding right there. So I'm going to open up my container here and then throw this solution back inside the container. Of course, I'm not going to do that with the um, colored um, ones, but 
we're just going to brush this through. I'm going to take the majority of it off, put it back in the jar. All right. And then we're just going to move the solution around. And as you can see, it's been sitting for a while. So that top portion, it looks like there's a thick outline. Um, that's because it has kind of uh, sat for quite a while so it is thickening up a little bit um, but before I like to rinse them off I like to just brush them uh, brush the solution around make sure that I got every inch and every corner of the decal so Mickey is looking pretty good on this colored glass okay so then we're gonna put him down I'm gonna put the rest of the solution back into the cup I'm gonna take this one this is the one that has my logo on it. For some reason, I feel like this isn't as dry as the Mickey Mouse cup, but we're just gonna rub it through a little bit. Keep a nice thin layer on there. Okay, we're gonna get most of that off of here. And then whatever's left, we'll just kind of rub throughout the glass. It's weird that the texture on this one is a little different than the blue glass. I feel like this one, it almost looks like it didn't take, but we'll see what happens um, when I remove, when I rinse it off. So I'm just rubbing around the little leftover solution. Um, it's kind of weird. It doesn't look like it took, but we'll see if it did or not. And then I'm going to go ahead and, because I'm not going to do any more with white solution, I'm still going to use the same brush. Um, however, I'm going to dump the color back inside the little paper cup. I'm not going to reveal any of these until the last color is applied. Now my solution has been sitting for a little while, but it doesn't look like anything has changed with the blue that's been sitting. Um, so let's go ahead and... Wouldn't that be pretty cool if that did take? I would love it. All right, so I have plenty of solution in my cup here. That's so interesting. I kind of almost want to think that it would take, but um, I don't want to rub this one too much. But what I am going to do is I'm going to apply the blue to the other side. I will um, sit this. You know what? I'll have to wash it off and then apply the blue, but I'm not going to show you that. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I'm not going to show you guys because I do need to wipe this off, wash it off so I can go ahead and set the blue. Um... um alcohol ink. So I'm going to go ahead and wash all these off and then I will do the reveal all at once. Okay, I shall return. I'm so excited. All right, guys. So my experiment is now over and we have a little bit of disappointment um, as figured. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with the first one. Um, so the first one that I'm going to show you is the one that I knew more than likely wasn't going to work, but I wanted to try it anyway. And that is the pink glass. This one is a big fat fail, as you can see. So as I guessed in the beginning of the video, I could see that because the glass is partially um, clear and then you have the pink part and then clear again. I kind of figured that this was probably some sort of spray paint um, spray painted glass with a coating or whatever and as you can see it is still chipping off. This looks awful so you know so this one didn't work I kind of figured it wasn't going to work but at least we tried it and now we know. So if you come across colored glass and the glass is still partially clear you cannot do etching on this type of glass now the next one i'm a little disappointed because i was really really hoping that at least the um alcohol ink would have worked for this one and it didn't but the glass is super pretty and it's a cubby's glass so i'll show you what that one looks like 
Um, all right, so the Cubs part of this glass was the red food coloring. And as you can see, it is a white etching. And then here is the Fly the W, which I applied um, blue alcohol ink to. So although the color didn't take, I knew the, the, the food coloring was not going to take, but I was holding out for the alcohol ink. Um, however, this is a really pretty, pretty glass. So I'm definitely going to put this in my kitchen cabinet. So when I want to have a nice glass of wine, I could use my cute little Cubby's glass. And the Fly the W, by the way, is straight. Okay, you can't really tell on, on the video, but I was a little concerned about that. But it came out really nice. So I'm excited about this glass. Even though it didn't take the color, it's still a really pretty one. And last but not least, I'm very satisfied with the way this one turned out. And so this is the solid blue glass with Mickey Mouse. And as you can see, Mickey Mouse came out perfect. There's no chipping. There's no, um, uh, it's not spray painted. So if you look at the glass, you can see on the rim, it's kind of, it's blue all the way through. It's blue all the way through this way. And when you kind of tilt Mickey Mouse this way, you can see his a little blue shadow outline. That looks pretty cool. So I'm super excited and happy about the outcome with the Mickey Mouse one. Let's put it over here so you can kind of see his entire body. And there are no little ghost spots on any of my glasses. So that's why I like to take the foam brush at the very end when it's almost completely dry. And then just brush the etching solution back and forth in all the directions. And then you get a nice, solid, um, prominent etching such as this Mickey Mouse. So thanks guys for watching and thank you so much for asking these questions. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do, but again, just, you know, life happens and then you kind of get pulled away from doing the things that you love the most. But thank you for asking if we can etch on colored glass, if we can etch with in color, because that prompted this video. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video and hopefully soon.